Hello there. In this video, we are going to learn about the prime number. How do you find a number is a prime or not? To give you an idea of what is a prime number, for example, let's take the example of 7. Now, 7 is a prime number. Let's take a few more examples. Let's say 3 is a prime number. 5 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number. 11 is a prime number. So, what are you understanding by this? A prime number is the one which is either divisible by itself. For example, 7. 7 is divisible by itself. So, your reminder becomes 0. When you divide 7 by 7, 0. Similar way, the number is also divisible by 1. 7 divided by 1. So, you get the reminder as 0. So, any number which is only divisible by number 1 and the number itself is called a prime number. So, how can you write the logic? Now, to identify the prime number, let's say take the example of 7. So, from 2, we will start dividing. 7 divided by 2. Are we getting reminder 0? No. Then you divide by 3. 3 divided by 7 divided by 3. Are you getting reminder 0? No. 4, 5, like that. Until 6, you are going to divide it. So, your range is from 2 to 6. You are going to divide. So, let's write a logic for it. This is a simple way of finding a prime number. I am going to teach you an advanced method. So, what is the advanced method? Instead of we dividing from 2 till 6, so one number before 7, what we are going to do? We are going to divide until the square root. So, what is the square root? For example, 9's square root. What is the 3 into 3 is equal to 9? So, the square root, to, uh, square root of 9 is 3. Similar way, let's say 16. 4 into 4 is equals to 16. So, square root of 16 is 4. So, instead of you dividing from 2 till 15, for example, 16 is the number you would like to check, we are going to divide from till the square root, not exactly until the end of, because if you have 100, if you if I'm providing a number 100, now imagine how many times your code has to run. So, to minimize the time, we would divide until the square root. That's more than enough. So, what I'm going to do, let's say take the example of 16. I'm going to start from 2 and start dividing until 4. So, it will divide 2, uh, 16 divided by 2, 16 divided by 3, 16 divided by 4. So, until then, if it get divisible by any other number, that means it is not a prime number. So, let's see how to do that in the code itself. Before we write, start writing the code, we have to understand two important factors. Okay, how this square root works and how does the modulus operator works for example if i'm giving n is equal to 6 for example okay so if i divide n um for example let's run a loop or let, let's do it this way so now i'm going to say print n okay n modulus um let's say i'm going to divide it by let's say 2 or divided by 2. So, if I do anything like this, what is the output you get? You need to understand. So, the output is coming 0. That means it is clearly divisible by the number 2. Correct? Now, if I am going to say 7, 7 divided by 2, if I do, what is the reminder I am getting? I am getting a reminder called 1. So, this function you should know. The other thing you should know, the square root. How do you get a square root of something? For example, n is equal to 16. Okay? Now, to get a square root, the formula that you write is print n multiplication multiplication 0 0.5. So, when I do this, what happens? You get a square root of a number. For example, 16 square root, if I am going to run it, you see the output is 4. Do you see? I am getting the output as 4. Let's say I am going to say 15. Uh, let's, say, let's say type 9 and run this code, the square root of this is 3. 3 into 3 is equal to 19. For example, I am going to say 8. Okay. Now, 8, if you get a square root of 8, it comes as 2.82, like this it is coming. Let's say I don't want the decimal number. All I will do to remove the decimal numbers, I am going to encapsulate that with the integer. I am going to convert that to integer. Now, look at the how the output was coming. Now, if I am going to run it, now the square root is coming as 2. Getting it? So, once you know these two techniques, start writing the code. The very first thing we will define a function is underscore prime and I am going to pass a parameter called n here. Okay. The very first thing I will say if n is less than equals to 1, then what you say? You print you would less than, it is not a prime number, right? It is not a prime number. 
okay instead of print you will say return right you will return it not a not a print you will say return return it's not a prime number now i am going to start a loop for i in range i will do and i'll give a range from 2 comma just now we learned the square root right so i'll say integer and then i'll n multiplication multiplication 0 0.5 this is square root imagine you have taken the number 7 so 7 uh, square root it will come somewhere around 3 point something so i'm going to convert it to 3 so i want the loop to run until plus 1 for example 16 so 16 means why i'm writing plus 1 because the range function will this is the stop so this number uh, take the example of 16 square root of 16 is 4 so 4 plus 1 will become 5 so your range is 2 comma 5 so it, is, it should run up to 4 so 2 it will run 3 4 and then at 4 it, it is going to stop so that's why i'm adding a plus 1 here okay so written and now what i'm going to do the i'm going to divide the number n with the i whatever the loop is running it is going to divide so first it's going to divide by 2 then 3 then 4 and then it's going to stop if it is 16 16 is your number so n divided by 2 is equals to equals to 0 so this is your condition right now here i'm going to say if n modulus of 0 is equals to 0 then what you do then if it is getting divi divided then it's not a prime number so i'm going to say return it's not a prime number okay it is it is not a prime number now for example let's say the division is happening it did not find anything getting divided by itself then i'll i'll come out of the loop and here i'm going to say return i'm going to say uh, it is a it is a prime number getting it so i've defined everything properly let's go to the end all right now code is fine now let's try to check this code i'm going to say print print and i'm going to take the function name is underscore prime and inside that let's test it with uh, number two we'll start with number two for example okay now i'm going to run the code now if i run the code two it is a prime number very good it is finding it let's say i'm going to uh, let me remove the space a little bit now here let me say 3 it is a prime number okay very good now let's say 4 it is not a prime number okay let's say 5 it is a prime number let's say 6 it is not a prime number correct now logic is working fine 7 it is a prime number if i say 8 it is not a prime number you getting it so this is the simple function where you are defining a function here if it is less than equals to 1 you are simply saying it is not a prime number now anything above 1 right for example you are passing 2 say so 1 point 4 means it will become it will convert it to 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 2 comma 2 that means your range is nothing so that means the loop is not going to execute at all so it will directly come here and it is going to return it's a prime number getting it so like that for all the numbers this is a smartest way of writing the code in a very smallest way of writing the code now if i enter 100 here now it is going to run up to the square root of 100 so that means you are saving a lot of time avoiding the looping to go until the end of 100 right so this is the way you can write the code and do comment and let me know if you have a other smarter way that you have identified thank you for watching let's meet once again in our next content